Hey everybody, welcome back. For those of you who are new, let me tell you a little bit about what's going on. So I'm just an average guy who likes cars and I really needed a hobby. So I thought I'll build a car. I really don't have any good qualifications. I make lots of mistakes, but I figured everybody can enjoy watching a car be built, laugh at the mistakes, and share in the triumph. What do you want to do this week? Um, I don't know. Uh, one of the troubles is always, I don't have a manual, so I don't know kind of what's supposed to go next, but, well, let's see what we've got. All right, I got a package, let's open it. Uh-huh. So these are springs that should fit uh, our coilover. So let's... Well, now I want to go put them on. All right, I finally got this cap on. Um, Ugh, it was just difficult. So these uh, spring compressors, uh, they're meant for just a larger diameter spring. So I could only get kind of one on and then it would tend to make the spring kind of go away or it hit this. And so it's really hard to bring it back. Also, you can't grab that front one because then it can't go on, you can't release it. So after several attempts, I think I got it. All right, so there we go. Um, yeah, just I marked up a couple spots on the powder coat, so I'll go ahead and touch those up. But we'll go ahead and get the other one going too. Okay, we're gonna try again on the second one. Hopefully it'll go a little easier than the first. All right, as with most things, it was much easier the second time. So, didn't even mark up the spring or anything. So, looks good. So there's the uh, finished product there. Looks pretty good. Here's where we ended off last week. Um, got the front all looking nice. Got the paint on there and essentially we're getting close. So a couple things we need. So I need to get the brake master cylinder mounted. I need to get the radiator mounted again. And then eventually I'm gonna have to brave and mount the batteries. So I think first though we'll take, again, because I don't wanna work behind the batteries, I think we'll go ahead and take the uh, brake, the brakes, and kind of finish that up. So I need to put the master cylinder in and um, essentially do the uh, brake lines to the, the top two from the master cylinder. On the front side, so essentially, I've got a panel. Um, well, where's my panel? Here's my panel. So I've got this panel that mounts the gas pedal and it goes down there and it mounts the brake pedal too. So that's where it goes. And the reason why I've been kind of holding off on this is that um, this panel kind of overlaps, I call it panel, this plate, this adapter plate, it kind of overlaps two to these panels. So this one as well as the one that comes next out so I've been kind of putting this off because I'm not sure if that panel is supposed to go in next, but because I don't have any instructions, I'm going to assume that that's what I do next. So I will go ahead and put the panel in. Um, instead of doing rivets, I'll probably do rib nuts in case I need to take it back off. But I think that's what we'll do. So we'll get that uh, panel mounted, get this plate adapter mounted, 
and then mount the brake master cylinder. All right, here's the dilemma with that panel. Um, so essentially it's gonna be like this panel here. And for most kind of modern cars, it's got this like uh, vinyl, vinyl look. Um, so there's, there's that one. See so again, this one's got it kind of here. This one, you know, kind of a darker vinyl and a lighter vinyl. So I guess my, what I'm wondering is for this one, do I go ahead and add that now? Kind of seems like that's more of a something to do at the very end. Um, this is the one on this side. So again, do I just like these ones up here? I've just kind of just kind of painted. Do I just paint it. Do I add the vinyl now? I don't know. Um, the reason why I'm saying that is I mentioned doing rib nuts to remove it, but all these other panels. Um, They've kind of suggested to do this kind of sealant um, in between. And again, if, if that's joined and I've got this, that's gonna be a pain to get off. And if you don't have this, I worry it's gonna rattle. So that's the dilemma. All right, I had a viewer suggest um, for that guy, a little orange tube there, just to cover it up with some split loom. So I will do that. There we go, all better. Here's what I've decided to do. Number one, clean up. So I've got to get stuff out of here. Um, after that, I will, my thought is I'll go ahead and put the panel in, drill holes for the rib nuts, um, take the panel out. Um, if I may want to just give it a base coat of black, I don't know. Um, but anyways, I, I will put it in with fasteners without any of the uh, sealant and just know that later I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and remove it to kind of put some final touches on but that's the plan I got it all cleaned out um, I think what I'll do is like I did in the front panels I think I'll do a bead of uh, a sealant around uh, the seams of the frame to the floor panel uh, the other thing I got is I've got some so I got some uh, this kind of noise, what do they call it? Here? Sound deadening mat. So I'm gonna put some of that down on the floor here. Because really there's actually nothing between the road and the car other than a fiberglass panel. So put some of that down. Well, like I said, first I'll do a bead of the sealant, put that down, then I'll uh, kind of fit the panel, drill the holes for the rib nuts and go from there. I have the rib nuts all in there and one up there. The I want to put two more in here, um, there and over there, but essentially the panel, so I'm the panel wanted to flex to meet it, and so I thought, unless I've got those points secure, I, I probably wouldn't get the right spots. So I'll just start with those for now. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. I went to put the panel in here and realized that I've got some cabling that, I don't know if you can see, but it goes under here. And basically that panel needs to go right there. So basically this cabling's gotta come above. So I gotta undo some things and run the cables that way. All right, I was starting to kinda undo things. And then I looked at my other panel, um, which is kind of the, essentially the, I don't know, call it the dash. Um, and basically it, it sits on top. So basically this sit, the dash sits on top, the other panel sits underneath. So basically I need a hole. Um, and I figure it's probably easier to drill, drill a hole in this, this panel here. So I'll go ahead and do that. Okay. 
trying to fit this panel in. Um, so this back side's got gap. The front side is just really tight. So it's kind of trying to fit between this top top here. It's kind of getting stuck there and stuck there. And so if I really kind of wedge it in, I can get it in. But then this this back side over here wants to like kind of kick out. So I'm just going to trim the bottom here ever so slightly. All right, so here's what I'm up against. Um, again, it, it fits well up top, it fits well on the bottom. It just, over here, it just wants to come out. And if I push it in, it just really flexes things. And so I guess what I'm wondering is, I'm gonna go get the uh, dash panel and bring it down, because I'm wondering if maybe this is not supposed to go all the way to the middle, but if it's supposed to join on the dash panel. So I'm gonna go put that in. So I put the dash panel in and oh, I just don't, I wish I had a manual. So I just don't know if this goes on the inside or outside, so meaning if it's supposed to just fasten there or if this one's actually supposed to go on the outside, I don't know. Okay, so I think I've got it pretty well fitted. The only problem is the panel itself has got, it's just a little warped. So I can push it all the way up there and I'll probably uh, do some rivets or rivet nuts. And then I can kind of push those back. It just every time I push it back, it wants to pull the front out or every time I push the back in, it wants to pull this one that way. So I think it's all fine if I can get enough kind of points that are secure. So I will go ahead and do that. And then once I get that all fitted up, I can put on my panel, or my uh, bracket for the brake and gas or accelerated pedal assembly. I decided to paint uh, for now. Again, I think I might do kind of that final later on, but I figure if I'm gonna put it in, might as well paint it. I got the uh, sealant kind of all around the seams on the driver's side. And so now we'll go over to the passenger side. All right, so I was able to get the panel here fitted on the side, and it's kind of hard to see. Essentially, I've got the uh, gas pedal and brake pedal. So, these bolts are just barely long enough, so I'm gonna get some bolts that are a little bit longer I'll look at the pedal arrangement and see if I like it or if I need to do anything different there. Also looking at this, um, the gas pedal is on a normal car, it's, it's a little uh, more towards the firewall than the brake pedal, but this one seems like it's just maybe a little bit more than I'd like. Um, so I may want to get a spacer um, to go on the bracket there for the gas pedal just to put it out by just a little bit, half inch or an inch. All right, I got everything mounted. Um, quite a, it, it took quite a little bit to um, get the pedal so it wasn't loose. So meaning uh, there's just a distance with the, essentially how far the brake master cylinder comes out and then when the pedal starts, meaning there's just, if there's a little bit of gap, then you need to 
essentially thread it in more. Anyways, went back and forth, got it so we've got like zero play. That's really nice. Um, like I said, the gas pedal might be a little bit far, or sorry, accelerator pedal might be a little far back, but I think I might just wait till I drive it to see if it's, anyway, how it feels before I make any changes there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the brake, essentially the wires to the brake and the wires to the gas pedal, um, get all this kind of tidied up, and then I'll start working on the brake lines that go to the, um, the portion valve. All right, I was able to kind of clean things up just a little bit. Um, essentially got the uh, brake plug and you probably can't see it, but the uh, accelerator pedal, those are all connected. So basically everything here is um, done. I, again, once the dash is in place, I'll make sure to get these all kind of out of the way and uh, zip tied and such. But yeah, so it's looking pretty good. I was really glad that I uh, got this one figured out. Um, so the brake pedal is in place, auxiliary pedal, brake master cylinder. So running out of time for this week, but next time we'll get into uh, fitting the brake lines to the proportioning valve. And we'll start working on the battery box as well as kind of mounting the radiator. All right, that's as much as we could do for this week. See you next week.